Hello guys, welcome back to the first challenge on this Eternauts challenge. So in this challenge, we'll beat this level if we can claim ownership of the contract and reduce its balance to zero. So I've created, I've generated a new instance. So right here, um, this is a contract. What we are looking for is places where they changed the owner. In the constructor, it was changed, but we can't edit the constructor because it's the first um, block that runs. We need to find other places too. In the contribute method, also they changed it this is very hard to achieve because right here they said we should send eta which is less than this so we can send 0 0.001 we can send 0 0.0001 eta but if our contribution is greater than the owner's contribution we can gain access to this so if we want to do this we have to send 0 0.0001 uh, 1 million times so that we can beat the owner and this is not possible because no one wants to be sending 1 million transactions just to gain um, access to this contract. The next thing we can do this is to withdraw the user's money and this is to check our contribution if we have surpassed the user. So as you can see here, we need to send ETA and our contribution, we, we need to contribute more than zero because by default our contribution is zero. So we need to contribute something and we need to trigger the fallback method. So to gain access to this contract is not hard. What we have to do is contribute and then call the fallback method. If you type in help right here, since the smart contract accepts way as the payment method before converting it in here as ETA, what we have to do is um, we need to get the we equivalent of this. So if we look at our help here, we can see to we right here. So we can say to we and we can pass 0 0.0001. As you can see, I have triple zero and you have to pass this as a string. But as you can see, I have triple zero. That's because according to the required method here, it should be less than 0 0.001. So we can, I just added extra zero side to be less than the value they specified there. So once we convert this, this is the result. So we copy that and we need to call the contribute method. Like I said earlier, before we start this challenge, you need to know a little bit of JavaScript and also work three JS a little bit. So as you can see here, this is a send transaction, we will need it. So what we have to do is, we need to get the properties of this contribute method. Now if we should type contract, I guess we can see the property here. So the call method is to call a function. So any function doesn't change the state of a smart contract, you can use call to get it. So any function that doesn't change the state of a smart contract, that just retrieve a smart contract, that reads from a smart contract, use call to get it but a function that edits the state of a smart contract like change the variable you use send what is that you make use of the send or send transaction so we make use of the send transaction here so what we have to do is get the contract and then we get the contribute method and then we're trying to send a transaction so we'll send the transaction so in this transaction it takes a dictionary of objects in JavaScript. So in this object now takes the from the gas, the gas price, all those values. That's where you specify these um, values here. But we just need to specify the where the who is sending this transaction, which is the message of sender and the value we are trying to send. By default, the message of sender will be whoever sends the transaction, but I just love specifying the sender. So I can do from the from takes the message of sender. So since we have a variable here called player, which holds the current player address, we can just pass in player. And then we also need the value we are trying to send. So I'll send the value, which is the value key. And the value will be this way, which we converted right here. Also notes and strings. So if I should send transaction, and um, as you can see, we'll be charged zero point this here. I will just increase this to 30 and I confirm this transaction. And let's check, let's get our contribution. Since this is the read only, we can just do contract. There's contribution and we can just use dot call or just this way. And we need to await this. As you can see right here, we have zero contribution. This is a zero. So if our transactions should work well, hopefully, 
Okay, here we have zero contribution. If our solution should be successful, hopefully we'll have 0 0.00001 contribution. So we just have to wait. Okay, it's been picked up. Um, let's see. It's pending. Okay, it's been confirmed right now. So if you should take our contribution again, you can see we have to this to the total wheels we have right here, which is what we sent. So this part of the this part of the required method has been completed. The next method we have to do now is to send eta to the fallback function. Now, how do we call a fallback function? Let's see our contract if there's any fallback function in our contract right now. I'm pretty sure what there isn't. Callback function. Is there any fallback? Okay, there isn't a fallback function. So what we can do is um we can just send the transaction. Because since we don't specify a function, sending the transaction will trigger the fallback function. So and the thing said we should send at least anything greater than zero. So right here we will send we we'll still send the same value. It doesn't matter the value you send, what matters is it's big greater than zero. So we'll see use the same the same but instead of using contributes, we we'll send it directly to the smart contract, which is this. Then the player, which is the message of sender should be me, because we'll be assigning it to this user. So we're saying the message of sender should be this address. And um we need okay we just send the same value here and once we send this also let me just specify 50 so this will be faster okay this is the transaction okay and see the value is 0 0.001 Transaction has been confirmed, and um, so if you should check our contribution again, we have this contribution. And if you should check the owner, which is contract owner, hopefully we are the owner of this contract. Yeah, as you can see, five C. Um, let's see our address. Five C. Let's paste it down here. As you can see, we are the owner of this address. We are the owner of the contract. So, um, we've completed this. We have claimed ownership of the contract. Next is to reduce the balance to zero. And there is a withdraw method here, which will transfer all the balance of the smart contract to um, the owner. So, what we have to do is to trigger this withdraw. We can just do contract dot withdraw and just call this function. Transaction has been confirmed. Claimed ownership and we've reduced the balance to zero. We will get the balance of this particular address. So we can get contract dot address. And we need to await this. So as you can see the contract address is now zero. The contract balance is now zero. So we've done these two options and now we can submit this instance. And why wait for the transaction to complete? Okay, it's completed. And as you can see, we've completed the level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.